Good morning everyone. Welcome to another vlog from Valencia. Currently it's 8.30 and I'm gonna have breakfast and go to my internship again. I kind of live in this loop of like waking up, going to work, work and then coming back and then maybe in the evening I do something if I'm not so tired. So even these seven hours or sometimes even eight if I sleep a bit earlier are not enough. So now I'm feeling completely like don't talk to me and anything until at least 10 or something which is fine because basically my internship starts at 9 30 so before 10 i usually don't do anything but anyways this week is gonna be super fun in valencia because my friends are here i mean my friends came to visit me so i'm gonna do a lot of other things with them that i still didn't do but yeah for now that's it and enjoy this vlog with me home cleaned the house ate a bit and now i'm gonna watch actually tv show because my friends are at the beach but they don't have internet so they are not texting me so i'm just gonna chill and then if they text me i'm gonna go meet them and if not then we'll see each other tomorrow or something i mean if i wasn't working tomorrow again early i would maybe go and meet them later but i'm really really super tired so I feel like it's even better if I rest for a day, especially because yesterday evening and today I felt kind of like sore throat. I'm really scared that since I'm tired and I'm constantly between AC and 40 degrees outside, I might get sick from these changes. So I bought some vitamins as well on my way home and I'm gonna start taking them tomorrow. So I think it's better if I just stay in and rest tonight and then get ready for the weekend so that I can like tour them around a bit more and have fun with them. So that's the plan. Today I'm a bit sick. But still, going strong. I'm going to meet my friends now and we're gonna eat some churros. I'm finally home and I'm gonna shower now because I was making food for tomorrow for the lunch. I don't know if you hear, but my flow as well got a bit worse, but my nose kept running. So that was really, really annoying. And I kept sneezing. I mean, the AC was on all the time. So we know why that's happening. And then as you saw, I went and found my friends and then we just ate churros and went to see something around the stores because currently it sales here in Spain and most of these brands like Zara, Pull&Bear and other things are Spanish. So I feel that here is the cheapest when it's sale. So I'm gonna show you now what I bought. So this is the kind of blazer I bought today. I really wanted the kind of shortcut blazer for a long time and I couldn't find it anywhere. I mean, I saw it on some online shops, but I don't know what kind of a material it is until I touch it. So now I found it and uh, it was on a sale from 70 euros to 16 and this is the size XS. So you see it's a bit 
meant to be oversized. That's a good and smart purchase. This is a body that I was wearing in my previous vlog, so I just mentioned it. It's also from Zara, like all the things I bought in Zara. But yeah, I really like these kind of sleeves, a very summery, and the fabric is also like thin, perfect for summer. I bought these jeans as well because they were super cheap, maybe like 13 euros or something. But yeah, they fit really well and I think I'm gonna wear them a lot this autumn. But not yet here, it's like 40 degrees. And the app is saying 32, but when you go to the city during the day, you can see like it's 37, 36 most of the time. So it's really, really hot and humid. I woke up last night like maybe six times or something because I was so out of air how hot it was so i really need to buy a fan like it's not even like maybe i'm gonna buy a fan it's a necessity because i can't sleep Finally home and now I'm getting ready to go out with my friends. I actually had dinner but I forgot to film it so oops. And I'm gonna take my friends tonight to a very cool famous place here which is located in this Calatrava city of arts and sciences. So I think so far it's like my favorite club that I visited ever. Usually all clubs are like underground or something or like normal clubs. But this one I visited the last time when I was in Valencia and ever since I was telling people about it, how cool is the space and everything and how cool is it that they actually are making parties there. I hope you hear me because some cars are passing but it's just better light here than in my room currently. So I'm gonna get ready now and then we're going there. I hope it's gonna be so much fun. I mean today we were just chilling at the beach the whole day playing Uno, um, drinking sangria and basically doing nothing. That's what beach is for and yeah because it's Saturday so I really wanted to chill a bit today after this week of work so I hope you'll enjoy as well this party and see you later. Hello, with my new friend, finally. Now I can live easily and breathe more air. And honestly, since I got it, I'm sleeping so much better in these previous two nights at least. So it's Sunday evening. I took a morning off to rest for a bit. And yesterday's party was actually fun. I mean, music was kind of like between 2010 and some new reggaeton. But honestly, I feel like DJs could be a bit better since the space is so amazing. So I feel like they could play something a bit more fun. But it's actually good because underground there are two or three more spaces. I think actually three where you can go and it's like different kind of music. So it's fun if you don't want to stay in one place all the time. There is like a normal kind of club under. Also my friends from work joined us so it was like many many people but at one point it got super crowded so it's really not fine when it's so hot to be surrounded by so many people. Anyways now we're gonna go there again I mean in this like Calatrava city of arts and sciences because we want to see it like during the day and take some nice pictures. I'm glad I just chilled a bit today so that's why I didn't film anything today, but yeah, it's gonna be fun evening and tomorrow work again. 